Hello! Wishing you a warm welcome to Notion. I'm here to give you an overview of how to use our tools to solve your problems. Whether you want to manage projects, create shared knowledge, take notes, or whatever else you have in mind. There are so many things you can achieve with Notion, but we decided to stick to three things in this video. First, how to write and edit content. Second, how to set up your workspace. And third, how to collaborate on that content with others. By the end of this video, you'll feel ready to go with these actions, so you can use Notion on your own or with your team to get more done. First, I'll show you how to add and edit content in Notion. Here's a page showing a hypothetical company's mission, vision, and value statement. Adding text in Notion is as easy as placing your cursor wherever you want and start typing. It works just like any other document editor, only features still get in your way until you need them. For instance, when you highlight text, this formatting menu pops up so you can style it. Every piece of content you add to Notion is called a block. The sentence you just typed is a text block. There are many types of blocks you can add to Notion pages. Checkboxes, headings, images, videos, databases, embeds like Google Maps or PDFs, it's a long list. There are two ways to add a block. First, when you hover, you'll see a plus sign in your margin. Click it to see the full menu of content you can add. Second, you can use what we call a slash command. Hit forward slash to bring up the same menu and start typing what you want, like to do or bullet. You'll be able to call it up instantly and add it by pressing enter. With slash commands, Notion makes it easy to structure your text with headings, bullets, and more without ever taking your fingers off the keyboard. We also offer all the standard keyboard shortcuts to take this to the next level, like Command B for bold if you're on Mac. We also added advanced ones for good measure, like Command E for code notation, powerful once you get the hang of it. You can also hyperlink any text by highlighting it and pasting the URL you'd like to link to over it. All of these options also live in this formatting menu for easy access, including the option to change text color or add highlights. You can turn a whole text block a color in one go with the slash command red, for instance. Also fundamental to editing in Notion is the ability to drag and drop blocks anywhere on your page. Just click and hold the six dot icon and use it as a handle to drag. This makes it easy to arrange and rearrange your thoughts and content however you want. You can also use it to create columns and structure your page another way. That six dot icon is useful for more too. Click it next to any block to bring up a menu that lets you delete, duplicate, move, comment on, color, or copy an anchor link to that block. You'll also notice an option called Turn Into. Use that to transform the block into any other type of block, like turning this text into a header. Last point on editing and formatting text. This three-dot menu at the very top right of your page contains options for changing the typography of your page, text size, and page width. All of these features are designed so you can create pages that look and feel the way you want. Now that you know how to create content, let's talk about how to use Notion to organize it. Your sidebar is home to all of the pages in your workspace. If you're using it on your own, you may only see one section, but if you're using it with others, you'll see two workspace and private. Any pages in workspace are shared with all members of your workspace. Instead of organizing pages into folders, like in most apps, Notion lets you nest pages inside pages. This has a few advantages. It ensures everything has its place and is easy to find. You can also use your sidebar to get a bird's eye view of everything in your workspace, or close these toggles to only focus on what's important. Pages can be dragged and dropped between sections, reordered, or put one inside the other. It's helpful to only have a small number of top-level pages in your sidebar to keep things tidy, and then add additional layers of context nested inside. For instance, you could have top-level pages for your company wiki, your roadmap, and for each team, like engineering, sales, and marketing. Each can contain many pages organized however you want to work. Now, let's say you're currently working on pages several layers deep in your workspace, but you want to be able to open them with one click. 
Just flag these pages as favorite here, and this will automatically create another section in your sidebar called favorites. When these pages are no longer relevant or urgent, you can simply remove them the same way. To find any page instantly, we have a powerful search tool. Just click Quick Find at the top left here and type whatever you're looking for. Once you have results, you can filter them by date created, the person who created it, and more. Just click to jump right there. Your sidebar also gives you options to find and use templates for a variety of purposes and to import content from other apps. Lastly, you can close your sidebar if you want to focus on the task at hand or resize it. Our goal with this feature is to give you an index to all your information, an index you can rearrange to match your work whenever you need. Once your content is added and organized, you can start collaborating with other people. There are several tools for this built into the product. First, you'll want to share your information. You can do this by inviting other members who will share all the content in your workspace with you. That's our team plan. Or you can invite Notion users who are outside your workspace to individual pages as guests on any plan. This is what they'll see when you share a page with them. Once content is shared, you can add comments to blocks and even specific words. Either use the six dot icon or highlight the text and choose comment. Type whatever you want to say. And if you want to get other people's attention, mention them by typing at followed by their name. You can also start discussions at the page level by hovering over the top of any page and clicking add discussion. Mentioning people is possible there too, or anywhere inside a page. This is a good way to ask someone a question, get someone to review something, or assign them a task. As soon as they're mentioned, they'll receive a notification in all updates in their workspace. You can even set a reminder for someone by typing at, the word remind, the time of the reminder, followed by at and their name in the same line. The All Updates menu in your sidebar collects all the times you've been mentioned or added to pages. You can even use it to see all changes made to pages relevant to you, when they were made and by who. When you have new mentions, a red badge will appear. When you view them, you can reply right from this menu, resolve comments, or archive them. Combined, these features should make it easy for you and your team to start, continue, and pick up conversations no matter where you're located or when you're working. This type of asynchronous communication can keep you moving forward without missing a thing. That's it for now. We hope this video helps you feel confident creating content, organizing your workspace, and working together. With time, Notion can become a powerful tool for managing workflows, perfectly tailored to your team's needs. And remember, you can always start with a template and go from there.